so we've had some really big storms and lots of flooding um, and the other night there was lightning landing really close which uh, got me worried because I've got a surge protector um, I've got a midnight solar surge protector that isn't installed yet so I'm going to do that today um, so I need to run first my ground uh, I bought I bought a ground a uh, grounding rod, which I'm going to place just over there, and um, I'm going to run um, run the cable from here directly to the grounding rod. So I'm just going to punch this out. Yeah, it had me very worried the other night when the lightning was uh, landing really close, especially knowing that I've got a lightning, so a, a surge protector, but it's not installed, it's, uh, it's silly if anything were to happen. So yeah, so I've just punched that out, um, that's in here. I don't actually have any bare copper cable. Um, they don't use much bare copper here. Uh, my my house, the electrician for my house, has installed the the ground wire with an insulated wire. Um, so this is what I got, and this is what I'm going to use. I might change it to an insulated cable, or I might not. So. Push this into here for the moment, and then I'll sort that out later. I suppose I could just strip this if I really wanted to. I don't know if you need to put the ground rod a certain distance away or not, but I, uh, I looked it up on the internet and I couldn't find any info for this. So uh, I'm just going to run it the length of this cable is rusty. And um, I'm thinking that should be fine. I'll connect, I'll tie this off here so it doesn't get pulled. And then I'll just run this cable as far as it will go over here and drive the ground rod in there. So in the end it looks like this cable is too thick because it doesn't fit in my little bus bar there. So let's pull this out. And I found a piece of ground wire, so I'm going to use this instead. It's rained non-stop for the past couple of weeks and we, we've received more rain here in the past, uh, well we received more rain in January than we get in the whole year and so the land, the, the ground is completely saturated and uh, the, it, won't, it really won't take any more any more uh, water. But hopefully now this is going to stop. Yeah, it would be 
great if it stops raining. So that's what I got for the moment. So I'm going to drive the stake in here and uh, and then um, I'll get a new piece of cable and then pull it out and drive it in again. Okay, let's try again. Take three. I don't like the look of that cable. It's too thin and it's too short. I've got this uh, 10 mil. 10 millimeter squared cable, I'm going to use this. So let's pull that out there. Um, I might as well. I think this one will go easy. So once again, push that into there. is currently so wet that I might not even have to drive this in with a sledgehammer. I can probably, well, yeah, that might be a bit ambitious. So I've stripped this, I have my special copper bracket thing. I don't know how interesting this is, guys, but I put it up and then uh, people are always all too happy to tell you what you've done wrong, which is good in some cases. When it comes from actual experience it's good, when it comes from the all too many armchair experts out there then <laughs> sometimes it's not all that good. Yeah, my socket doesn't fit, of course it doesn't. Ah, proper tool. So there you go, that's nice and tight. Cable. That was good. Squelchy. 